Again, <laughs> I wanted to talk about conceptual blending and the tarot, creative thinking and the tarot. And I uh, also wanted to mention a name here of a creative consultant that I was fortunate enough to talk with, Michael Machalko. And he did three books in the, on creative thinking techniques. And uh, his last book, Creative thinking is um, actually mentions the tarot in here as a an example of um, creative thinking and conceptual blending. The reason I got in touch with them is because when I first wrote Genius of the Tarot, this book here, my first book, I talk about mind mapping and, and being a creative thinking technique that is and the tarot is a, a verbally expressed mind map. My last video, I talked about that. And um, I wanted to get a confirmation from some, from an expert that, um, so to make sure I wasn't in left field here. And I uh, got in touch with Michael Machalko and um, we emailed a little bit and I asked him, I said, can I call you? And he said, sure. He said, give me a call. So I called him and I and I said to him, I said, so you get it. You get what I'm saying, right? And he says, yeah. He says, absolutely. He says, as a matter of fact, he said, this book was just coming out. And he says, matter of fact, he says, I talk about it, the tarot being used as a creative thinking technique in this book. He says, so I know exactly what you're talking about. And um, so we, we had a good conversation. And he actually endorsed he actually ended up endorsing my first book, Genius of the Tarot. I sent him a copy. He endorsed it. And he wrote on here, nice thing he wrote, a brilliant book about genius of the tarot and how you can use the tarot to discover your hidden thoughts and images. Think of the tarot as a candle. And Vince's book as the match that lights that candle and illuminates those thoughts. Michael Machalko. Anyway, he wrote two other books, Cracking Creativity and Thinker Toys. And these are, there's puzzles in these, there's illusions, and there's all sorts of interesting stuff in these books to look at. And he talks about the genius mind and the way creative thinking actually works. And he does it in a way that's um, very easy to understand. You might want to look into his books. The one other thing he did was make a deck of cards called the Think Pack. And these are cards that work with a system called Scamper. Scamper is uh, seven basic principles to look into and randomly throw cards into to get ideas about some sub subject you're looking into that you don't have an answer to. To find new ideas about something, something you're looking into. And uh, so you can get a Think Pack too. Think pack. I'll put a link to Michael Machalko down below in my in this video. And um, you can look into his stuff. His stuff's on Amazon. Anyway, leading creative thinking to, uh, cons creative consultant. I've worked with Fortune 500 companies, branches of the government, and things like this. And um, and he's um, very well known in that field. And uh, so we talked a lot about, about how the two are, we're doing the same thing. It's an interesting thing, conceptual blending. I have written here, the human brain cannot deliberately concentrate on two separate objects or ideas, no matter how dissimilar, no matter how remote, without eventually forming a connection between them. And that's what we do when we lay a tarot card into a basic principle of a question known as a position. And that tarot card is 
interpreted in some way in regards to the meaning of that position that was placed with. That's conceptual blending. A random tarot card placed into an element of our question known as a card spread position. And we will eventually make a connection because the mind works that way. But what we're doing when we do readings and we're learning this, we're training our mind to use the other part of the brain that we don't usually use. And this is where our imagination and our intuition is. And, um, and we're, we're actually using that part. We don't usually use that part of the mind. Put more lighting in here. Let me see something. Whoa, huge. My sunglasses. <laughs> They're a welder's mask now. All right, um, but anyway, um, so anyway, this, this deck of cards, and he talks, like I said, he talks about the tarot just briefly in this book. He also talks about, obviously, conceptual blending right in the introduction, and he goes over that principle throughout the whole book, how taking two dissimilar subjects, blending them together to come up with new ideas, and that's what conceptual blending is. Used in medicine, technology, the arts, by inventors, and um, all sorts of other people now. So it's something you could actually take a college course on now. Where when I first got into the tarot, that wasn't out there yet. It came out in 1993, officially. They knew about it before then, but it wasn't an official term until 1993. Anyway, so he has this, this think pack. And in here, he has what I would call a card spread. It has seven basic principles called scamper. S-C-A-M-P-E-R, seven. And scamper stands for S is sub substitute something for in, in the question. How can we do that? And you would lay a card into that position to see what you could substitute. Uh, C is for combining. What can you combine? A is for adapting it to something else. M is for modifying or magnifying the situation. P is to put it to another use. E is to eliminate. What can you eliminate here? And R is to reverse or rearrange something. Seven positions. And you lay a card into those positions to come up with ideas about this issue you're looking into. An issue you don't have an answer to, but you're trying to find an answer to. And that's basically what a card spread is doing. And actually my book, Radical Tarot, Breaking All the Rules, I actually made a card spread from, from Scamper. Right here. Well, it's the same thing. There was never really nothing for me to think about. It just made it a card spread. So we have position one is to substitute something. Position two is to combine something to it. Position three is to adapt it. Putting it to something else. Position four is to modify or mag magnify. Position five is to uh, put to some other use. And position six is to eliminate something in there and see how that happens, see what happens if you do that. And position seven is to re reverse or rearrange something else. It's a card spread. Creative consultants use that method and um, along with other methods to uh, of conceptual blending to find ideas. What's important about that is if you understand what we're doing it eliminates this mystery of the tarot that's been there for centuries. And if you understand how the tarot works, it allows you to open up doors with the tarot that have never been even considered before. You could take two dissimilar uh, subjects 
a random subject added to a section of your question, it's actually impossible for you not to find a connection there somewhere. Eventually, your mind will make a connection somehow, metaphorically or some other way. You'll find comparisons. And that's what we do when we read tarot cards. Anytime you have an idea, an idea is a prediction because you haven't done it yet. And if you consider the idea and you want to make it and you want to move forward with it and it works and you've made an accurate prediction. So I would, um, I, I just thought I would bring up Michael Machalko and um, I talk about creative, think, um, creative thinking. I talk about creative thinking and I talk about conceptual blending and I talk about mind mapping and all these other things like that actually mind mapping and conceptual blending and um and tarot readings so if you understand more about that as you're reading about tarot cards if you have that in your mind if you know more about creative thinking techniques you'll see how they are the same and so the more you know about creative thinking the more you'll know about the tarot So it's a good thing to look into, even though they're not really considered the same thing they are. The difference between a creative consultant and a tarot reader is a creative consultant uses random stimulus of anything in the world around them to be added to sections of their question. And they make comparisons between this randomness and the element of the question they placed it with. This gives you new ideas. Or would a tarot reader, a tarot reader limits their randomness to a deck of 78 tarot cards. And I prefer that anyway. And a creative consultant will be working on huge projects, working with think tanks and things like that. Although there are inventors and um, authors and other people that use conceptual blending and creative thinking techniques to come up with ideas a creative consultant would be hired by a fortune 500 company or some other branch of the government or so, uh, michael machalka was in those in those types of situations a lot and they're part of a think tank and they um work on some huge projects so their their session would be more than just an hour they're working on, a, on something for a long time. And, um, but they're using the same techniques we are. And they're both the way the mind naturally works anyway. Like I said, you cannot not make an association between two elements. If you wanted to, it would be impossible not to eventually find a connection in some way between them. How is this random use, randomness useful to my question, to the element of the question it's placed with? That's where the new ideas come from, things you've never thought of before, things that are just not predictable or imagining, imaginable. Imaginable? Yeah. Without uh, some randomness to put in there like that, you could never just come up that, with that on your own. So I would suggest um, looking into Michael Machalko and those books I mentioned, Cracking Creativity, Thinker Toys, and his last book, Creative Thinkering. And he talks about things like the way Leonardo da Vinci thought and um, his chapter three, How to Think Like a Genius. And, um, he actually sent me this copy of his book. You think I would take it? It's kind of beat up, but he did, he did mail me this and he wrote in here. To Vincent. The artist is not a special person. Each person is a special type of artist. That's Michael Michel. Um, 
but I got this book all worked over. It's um, a lot of highlighted areas and things like that. You'll find it very interesting reading. And again, these books are light reading. You don't have to have a degree in psychology, but you'll, you'll find them very interesting. If you're interested in tarot cards, I think you'll be interested in these books. But keep in mind when you're reading them, the similarities between the tarot cards and um, creative thinking techniques the creative thinking technique of conceptual blending. Very basic creative thinking technique principle and mind maps. My books uh, always map out the card meanings around the, um, around the card. Well, most of them do. And um, you can see that I've done that in uh, in this type of thing here. Well, this is this is, this is um, radical tarot, and um, so I've done that with genius of the tarot. No, genius of the tarot. I didn't do that. I did it with bare bones, and I did it with um, the essential tarot, unlocking the mystery. Bare bones, essential tarot, and radical tarot. I do talk about creative thinking, conceptual blending, and the tarot in those three books. Genius of the tarot, I talk more about is just one chapter about mind mapping in the tarot. And um, just thought I'd mention that too. Anyway. I think the more you look into um, creative thinking and conceptual blending and mind maps, the more you'll see the similarities between a tarot reading. And also you'll see why the tarot reading is so effective. Because all those situations give us ideas that we didn't have before we sat down and applied that uh, intentional application of thinking. Next tarot gathering is January 11th, 12 o'clock Chicago time. There'll be a link down below here also to uh, tarot maps where you link into that Zoom meeting. It's um, going to tarot gatherings in the menu and you just click into the meeting. All are welcome, novice or professional reader. We just sit around, have a good time, talk about tarot cards and a lot of other things. <laughs> anyway. Keep throwing cards. We'll talk soon. Bye.